So you had Johnny Manziel for a year at A&M. You had Mahomes. How many years did you have Patrick? I had th- him for three. Okay. And I they, wish I, if, if I would have had him for four, I'd still have my job at Texas Tech. <laughs> and then Baker Mayfield came through as well, but he was injured and then transferred to Oklahoma. Right. Okay. But the most natural talented uh, out of those three, Mahomes, Manziel, and Baker. You know, all three had ridiculous traits, I guess you would. Like Johnny's playmaking ability, his quick twitch making people miss. Um, his, his kind of sense of, of spatial awareness was, was insane. Baker, phenomenal, um, you know, accurate, big-time arm, cerebral cat who, if you know, he could just diagnose a defense as good as anybody. And then Pat, you know, the ability to throw from those different angles and arm dexterity and, and move and different platforms and, and see the entire field. So I was just very fortunate to work with all three. Um, and each one had, had things that they did that are, are as good as anybody's ever done in, in the history of, of football, really. Ever seen a better arm than Mahomes? I have not. Um, not with, the, you know, the the touch you throw in there. There may be guys that can throw it. I, mean, I, get, I think he, throw, he can throw it 85 yards probably, but um, not with the touch, the different angles, the accuracy. You know, wherever his feet are part, pointing, it doesn't matter. He can get it anywhere. Um, so just the natural arm talent, throwing ability. And that was from day one when, when I got around him. He could always throw it from any angle, be accurate, and have great touch, which is so rare. I would watch – I would watch Texas Tech just because of Mahomes, and then I would come in on Monday and tell my guys, I said, I don't know if this guy can play in the NFL, but it feels like he's just sort of having fun directing, you know, the offense, and you, you gave him a lot of freedom. I don't think it was that, or was it? Yeah, I, I think we just, when you have one like that, you, you there's a fine line of pulling those reins, and um, we tried to, to give him stuff. He had a great high school coach. Uh, they're in White House, Texas, and ran a similar offense where they gave him a lot of freedom to check things at the line and see leverage and just be him. Um, and so we kind of kept that rolling and, and worked on a few things. But when you have one like that that's that talented, you, you just don't want to screw him up, kind of get out of the way and let him go. And um, you see, I think, Coach Reed giving him a lot of those same freedoms. Yeah. Uh, what, what's amazing about Pat is with his style of play, how few turnovers he really has because he's high risk throws consistently on the move, doing things that traditionally you're told not to do, and he continues to make it make it work. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.